Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to configure HD Wine in 48 step by step from start to finish. Now, before we jump into the configuration, let's quickly understand what HD Wine actually is and why it's so important. In tra traditional setup, if you have multiple internet connections like WAN1, WAN2, you usually create separate static routes and firewall policy for each ISP. The problem with the, that setup is one, if one ISP goes down or becomes slow, traffic doesn't automatically shift to the other link. The, that's where HDWAN, that is the software defined wide area network comes in. HDWAN intelligently manages multiple WAN connections by continuously monitoring link quality like latency, jitter and packet loss. It automatically decides which internet link should be used for the best performance and can load balance or failover between ISPs all through a single virtual HDWAN interface. So in this video, I will show you exactly how to create HDWAN members for both ISP links, remove interface reference so they appear in the HDWAN configuration configure performance SLA using Google DNS probes to track link health, set thresholds for latency, jitter and packet loss, create HDWAN rules for road balancing based quality and to manually fail over the link and finally verify that everything is working live on your 48 GUI. By the end of this video, you, you will have a clear understanding of how HDWAN improves network performance and reliability and how to set it up properly in your 48 firewall so let's get started here you can see my two internet links WAN1 and WAN1 so you can see here so in the I will go to the static routes in the static routes both links have separate gateways for each ISP but once we configure HD1 there will be only one unified HD1 route for all internet traffic also in the firewall policy, before HDWAN we had two different policies, one for each ISP. So you can see in the live screen. So after HDWAN we will only need a single policy for internet access. So for the HDWAN configuration, we need to go to the, select the network, then go to the HDWAN, you can see live screen there is no hdwan configuration yet so let's start fresh configuration of the hdwan so click on create new then click on hdwan member then you can see here there is no my wan1 and wan1 interface is not showing so to fix this that's because it's already reference someone else so for that we need to go to the interface and you can see here reference uh, on the right side reference to reference for the WAN1 and to reference for WAN1 so first of all I will remove the WAN1 reference so click on this and firewall policy there is one reference so on outgoing interface there is WAN1 so I will uh, put here the WAN2 that is unused interface and press ok to save the configuration so firewall policy I will refresh this and then go to again HD WAN then click on create new then HDWAN member and uh, HDWAN zone will be my virtual WAN and interface you can see here WAN1 so select it and cost 0 priority 1 and gateway will be dynamic and if you have specific so specify and press ok to save the configuration then click on plus and you can see here the virtual WAN link of uh, my link is added successfully so i will add also second one link also so i will remove the reference of the my van one also so i will scroll to the right and for you can see here the uh, firewall policy one reference i'm hanging so click on the reference uh, click on firewall policy of van one i will select it and in outgoing in interface there is van one so i will select the dmz and press ok to save so after that uh, we will go to the network then uh, I will first of all means uh, once the my reference remove go to the network then HDWAN and then uh, create new then HDWAN member and in interface HDWAN zone will be my virtual WAN and interface you can see now when one is showing 
okay so i will select tick and gateway should be my dynamic and cost zero priority one and press ok to save it and click on plus and you can see that my both isp wn1 and wn1 is added so to create a new hd1 zone you can this is very simple to create the new hd1 zone if you have another configuration hd1 zone if you need to configure so once the my hd1 zone configuration is complete after that i will need to configure the performance sla so and after that i will configure the hd1 role so step by step you need to go first you need to create the zone after that hd1 member and after that you need to uh, create the performance sla and after that you need to create the hdmn rule for the uh, your setup so in performance sla i will delete this all the old performance sla default dns uh, default 40 guard default gmail i will uh, select it and delete and to create the new uh, performance sla click on the create new options and so to create new the performance sla uh, click on the you need to click on the create new options you can see on the my uh, live screen so we will start the performance sla configurations and in the performance sla uh, there will be latency jitter packet loss and so uh, you can see here new performance sla in the name you can give anything i will type here internet and in the probe mode i will set it active so there is three mode active passive and free fair passive so if you want what does the this mode do or uh, does so for that you need to click on the probe mode information so in the active send probes to determine the link quality so in the active mode it's sent continuously probe to the means uh, for the what server you have set it will set continuously means if i set ping so it will continuously say uh, check, uh ping to the 8.8.8.8 .8 and it will see the what is the quality of the uh, means link uh, by the latency packet loss and jitter depends on it so in the pro mode i will set it active also you can uh, put it passive prefer passive as per your requirement and in the protocol i will put it the uh, put uh, ping you can also set it http dns i will put it ping and in server type the google dns for the internet performance sla 8.8.8 .8 .8 and 4.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 and after that in the participants uh, uh, click on specify and add your van one and w1 ports interface man uh, means uh, your isp ports and after uh, that enable the sla target so in the sla target there is a latency jitter packet law so what you have said latency jitter packet less after once it's reached means if i put latency 60 ms i will put it uh, uh, 60 ms after that uh, jitter uh, threshold i will configure 30 ms and packet loss i will configure 5 percent uh, okay and after that uh, this means uh, once you reach the 5 percent so uh, traffic will be moved to the better link means uh, which have the less than 5 percent packet loss okay so in the link status i will uh, check interval should be by default 500 ms and failure uh, before inactive means links uh, inactive uh, it will check for the five times and restore link after it will be five means but uh, check for the five times and update static route i will be disable it okay uh, so this is the performance sla configurations uh, and press ok to save the configuration so i will refresh the page and you can see here in the sla my uh, when one link is showing up and when two wn1 is showing down so why uh, when one is showing up so i will check why my wn is link is showing down so this is the means performance sla configuration Bo uh, both links should be show uh, you need to show the green means uh, green means up and red means uh, down so i will refresh renew the my dscp of the my internet service provider and i will check re again the my uh, sla in the hdmn setup but still the my w1 when uh, link is showing down so for that i will first of all check my physical connectivity oh my all the performance sla configuration is right so i will check 
is I am getting the R of my ISP gates via gate system R. So no, I am not getting the R of the W WAN link. So I will first of all check my the physical connectivity of the my W WAN port. So for that, I'll close my CLI console, and after that, I will refer check the my physical connectivity and the uh, i will click on cancel and i will refresh my performance SL and now you can see that my both links are showing up and w and uh packet loss is 92 percent that's why it's showing the red so i am also getting w and means my link is up now and it's showing also up in the my performance sla so my performance sla configuration is now looks good so next step we need to configure the hdman rule so for the hdman rule i will first i will um, uh, disable my old static route so for disable uh, static route click on the uh, right side and disable it disable option you can see it and disable so i will create new and the extension will be zero zero means by a default route that is goes to the internet and gateway address uh, you need to don't configure uh, on interface select the virtual WAN link it's my zone interface of the HD WAN so once I click on it interface so the gateway address will be blank you can see on the live screen I will select it and gateway address not showing and press ok to save the static route configuration so my configuration static route configuration is done and after that you can see here my both links are showing proper so i will first of all create the hdman rule so there is three hdman rule i will show you first my hdman rule i will show that is my uh, load balance how to create the load balance rule for in the hdman so in the source keep it all and after that in user uh, user group you can put your user if you have the um, lf server or SAML authentication so you can put it here okay or put it blank if you don't have and in destination address put the all destinations and in the protocol i will put it any because i want all means tcp also udp also in the outgoing interface uh, for the load balancing put it manual okay manual assign outgoing interface okay and after that in the internet preference i will select my that both wan1 and wan interface and in the zone preference you need to uh, select the your uh, hd wan zone virtual wan link that is and in the major sla so zone preference will be and in the load balancing uh, you need to this setting enable load balancing setting i will enable it and this is the my hd one rule for the hd uh, load balancing to utilize both the link means uh, 50 percent traffic will be goes to van one and 50 w van one and phrase okay to save the configuration this is the my configuration for the uh, if you want to load balance your load balance your means um, branch network okay so after that i will create the next one that is the best quality how to create the best quality rule for the, your hd man so i will type best quality rule and in the source address i will keep it all in the user group if you have and in the destination i will put it all and protocol will be i will put it any and in the outgoing interface best quality the interface with the best major performance is selected means we have created the uh, uh, sla uh, in the interface preference uh, put uh, van1 w1 and in zone preference put it your virtual van link and in the major sla internet that is be it will uh, how the uh, it will means analyze best quality based on the packet law jitter latency okay so that is quality criteria you can put it and in the uh, uh, after that uh, put the press ok to save the configuration so you can see my load balance rule is upper uh, uh, is uh, okay so means you can see both uh, van1 and w1 both tra uh, internet traffic is going to that link so performance sl you can see here my van1 link means uh, latency is 13 and uh, van1 48 so uh, refresh and you can see van1 is good so it's a uh, uh, my uh, best quality rule is working based on the latency 
uh, because w1 latency is 43 and when one is uh, 12 so that's why uh, my traffic is going via the when one link that is the best quality rule okay so this is the rule for the best quality and the load balancing so there is also uh, another uh, um, rule uh, is there so first of all i will uh, this is the my static route and after that i will uh, go to the my policy and object firewall policy and i will cl cl uh, click my one policy or old policy and i will na uh, name it to the uh, hd1 policy as a hd1 policy okay and incoming uh, my LAN network outgoing interface i will choose the select the virtual one link that is hd1 zone interface net will be enabled that is traffic is going to the internet and log allow traffic will be all session and enable this policy and press ok to save the firewall policy configuration changes then go to the hd1 click plus and you can see w1 and when one is added in the hd1 so after that i will create the hd1 rule for the manual that is if my w1 link goes down after that only my traffic will be goes to the when one so in the name i will type the manual so in the address it will be all and in the destination address it will be also all and my protocol will be any and interface selection strategy i will put manual and w1 i want primary link so i will select first it and after that when one and zone preference will be virtual van link and press ok to the save the configuration so i will put this policy means a uh, general first one and i will refresh my page and in the general you can see my first traffic will be goes via the w van link and if it goes down it will be goes via the van one link and that's how Configure HD1 in FortiGate including ISP setup, SLA monitoring, route creation and rule con configuration. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more FortiGate and network security tutorials. If you have any queries, drop them in comments and I will help you out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.